Hey, welcome back to Dealing with the Deckers. I'm Candace Decker, realtor on the Gulf Coast of Florida, and this is my co-host and sister-in-law and fellow realtor in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. So Jamie, what do you have for us? So we're going to revisit that topic of forbearance that we talked about kind of at the beginning of this whole coronavirus quarantine. Um, and we talked a lot about what forbearance was, the kind of the risks and things to watch out for with forbearance. But, you know, a lot of people were concerned that that was going to kind of push the housing market into, you know, 2007, 2008 status. But the actual forbearance rate of mortgages backed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have actually dropped to a three month low. And the overall rate fell to the lowest point in more than two months, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. So that's really good news. And kind of furthermore, this is the biggest improvement that they've seen in the data since the crisis began. So the trajectory is just for continued improvement. So we really wanted to kind of go back and circle back to this idea of forbearance and kind of close the loop on a lot of questions. Yeah. And I think, you know, you hear in the headlines that there's going to be a crisis. There's going to be so many forbearances come this fall. However, we got two reasons here of why we're not expecting that. And one is the under the CARES Act, it states that if you are experiencing financial hardship due to the pandemic, that you have the right to request an extension. So your first forbearance, you have 180 days. And then your second um, extension, you have another 180 days. So total, you have almost a year of forbearance support. Um, second, um, unlike 2008, the people who have filed for forbearances, 77% of them have 30% or at least 20% equity in their home. So, I mean, huge numbers here. People have the equity. They just can't make their payments right now. Now, good news is interest rates are so low right now. What a 50-year low. So if you have a 750 credit score right now in a $300,000 home, the rate is 2.875. So Crazy. if you have filed for forbearance, you can pay your forbearance off your payments off, make three successful payments, and you can refinance. So yeah. there are options out there. Yeah, you do have options. You know, going back to what we said originally, if you can make your payment, make your payment um, just so you can, you know, if you want to refinance, you can do that right now. You don't have to wait till you pay back your forbearance and all of that. So if you can, make sure you pay your mortgage. But, you know, what we are seeing too is, new requests from borrowers to get forbearance permission to sus suspend their mortgage has actually flattened prior to the prior week. So we're not really seeing a huge uptick in people continuing to ask for forbearance and some mortgage um, suspension payments. So that's really good news as well. We're not seeing a continued uptick in that, even though this has clearly been going on a lot longer than we all anticipated. So I think really good news all around and just the cherry on top, the market has just been really great, um, especially for sellers. So, you know, anyone who is in, um, you know, a situation that, you know, they, they want to try to get their home sold and move on. It's a great time to do that. It is. Yeah. And if you have any questions about the rates, uh, refinancing, or if it's a good time to buy or sell, we'd love to help you. And we will catch you on the next Dealing with the Deck.